Don't look at me like that. What is that? What is that look you're giving me? Anyway, guys. Uh, it's been forever since I've done an update on uh, some of these projects. Um, the rocket stove videos, I used to get probably most of my views are rocket stove videos. And uh, I was having a lot of fun tinkering with them over uh, the winter and last fall and this spring. And the weather's a lot better now and I've been working on vehicles and but I never did update this uh if you watched any of my rocket stove videos this one uh is mostly recuperated materials except for the refractory cement and whatnot but uh I did use some mason mortar and I used some builder sand refractory cement and uh th let me tell you this thing here weighs a ton. Well, I shouldn't say a ton, but s several hundred pounds. It's 32 inches long. And it's about 16 to 18 inches wide, depending on if you're measuring inside. It's 16 inches on the inside, and it's about 18, 19 inches on the outsides. And... It's about, the whole thing is about 20 inches tall, but the, I'm about five and a half inches shy on the, maybe almost six inches shy on the, uh, material. I was hoping to have a little bit more, but the way I mixed it, I couldn't mix it all at once, which the way I wanted to, so I was mixing, uh, small amounts in the mixer when I cast it and uh, I don't know it didn't uh, I ended up using all the refractory cement as I was mixing bat my batches up and I ended up with some other leftovers of some perlite and some leftovers of some uh, some of the mason stuff mason mortar so it didn't uh, mix up quite as big as I wanted it to or quite the way I wanted it to but it's done this thing has been curing for a long time, probably, I don't know when the last time I made a video on this was, probably months ago. And I put these uh, aluminum tape to hold it from, uh, actually I had some weight on there too because it was trying to float when I, when I cast this, when I poured it. The uh, mold, that I, this refractory wooden mold, it's a sacrificial core. Um, it was trying to float, so I had some weight on it, and I tied it to down so it wouldn't go left or right. And the front port, I had it taped up to. So there's going to be like an ash clean out here. And uh, it floated a little bit also. But it'll be, I think it'll be fine if I put a door. If I put a door on the front here. And, uh, yeah, pretty soon I'm probably going to, uh, burn out the core mold on this soon. Somebody commented on, um, on one of these, my cast core videos just yesterday. Another guy from, uh, Canada, Ontario. Good day. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> 